In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up the transmit on this ICOM IC2200H coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to expand the transmit on this ICOM 2200H. This video is for educational purposes only. If you do this mod and damage your radio, don't come crying to me. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so we're going to need to get underneath this front panel right here. There's no need to get into this part of the radio. Nothing to do there. Pull off this knob. It just pulls right off. And use a uh, two millimeter Allen wrench is all you need to take these two screws out. One here and one here. All right, I got the screws out. Um, be careful with this front panel because uh, it's attached with a ribbon cable, as you can see right here. So don't just let it drop or uh, pull it out unexpectedly or any crazy thing like that. So turn the radio on its face like so. And uh, you're going to need to get that ribbon cable out of there. It'll just make things a whole lot easier. Just take a small tool and pull these little tabs down right here. Like that. And like that. And there we have it. That's free and clear. Okay, before I begin, I'm going to give you an overall view here of everything. Give you an idea of where everything is at. Uh, this chip here is IC1. That's going to be a reference point. Uh, this is the bottom of the display panel. Here's the mic jack over here. And uh, see, this is pin 1 right here with this dot right here. You're going to want to come down on this side of IC1. And D13 is your Huckleberry. It's right here. By the way, if this is a European version and you have this diode right here, this is D11, pull that one out and you'll expand the receive. But this is already done, as you can see. But D13 is right here, and that's the one you're going to want to remove for, uh, for the TX expansion. Now I'm going to use a uh, hot air uh, station. It's a cheap one uh, that I got from Amazon. Um, you can look at the uh, description below to uh, actually look at the hot air station I'm going to use. You can definitely use a soldering iron for this job, but I'm just going to do it a little bit different today. Um, you can see some of my other videos on um, these kind of mods, and you can see me using a soldering iron if you're not familiar how to use a soldering iron for this. Uh, but if you want to get one of these hot air stations, um, uh, take a look at that too, and it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good option if you do this uh, from time to time. All right, I've got it set for about 350 medium air, and um, I'm going to have to heat it from the top. So uh, hopefully, I won't block the camera too bad. But just go on top of it like that quickly, and uh, pull some light pressure on there. Push right out of the way. And there's the uh, the diode right there. I'm going to get that out of there real quick and uh, inspect the traces to make sure that I didn't bridge anything together. Yeah, I got the diode out of there and then looked at everything. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it back together. All right, just carefully uh, put the ribbon cable back in. Make sure that this tab is pushed down. There we go. Push it all the way up in there and then close the tab. And that's it. Just put the panel back together and put the screws in. And I'll pick this up again after I got it hooked back up and we'll test it out. Okay, welcome back. We're going to test the uh, TX uh, modification here. We're at uh, 136, which is going to be the lower end of the uh, band where it's going to transmit at, and there we go, transmitting. And I have this hooked up to a dummy load and a bird watt meter, and uh, we're doing about 70 watts right there. 
about 70 watts, uh, and I believe 174 should be the other end of the spectrum. 174. Let's see what we got there. Yep. And we're about 65 watts right there. Uh, so there you have it. It'll transmit anywhere from 136 to 174. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.